Hey guys, what's up? My name is Danny, aka Thriftfish. I'm an online fashion reseller, so I sell mostly used clothing on apps like Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, and that's what I do full time. I am a full time reseller, and today I am here to bring you a Goodwill thrift haul. Uh, I went to a Goodwill that I haven't been to in a little while just to scope out what they had, and I got a pretty decent haul, so figured I'd share that with you. Um, so I I put out reseller content um, twice a week. Last Friday I put out my first sip and ship video where we just talk reselling while I do my shipping on Fridays so I'll have another one of those for you this Friday but today is just a good old thrift haul of things I'm going to sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari so let's go ahead and get into it. First up is this Drew jumpsuit and it's kind of, it feels like a linen, it's lightweight. You know, we're heading into fall, so maybe not like the most seasonally appropriate pickup, but um, that's okay. So I'm looking for the content tag. Um, so it's not linen, it's polyester and cotton. Drew, I think, can be sold at Anthropology, but is not always. And this is a size medium. It's got the keyhole back. Um, but still thought that was cute and still picked it up. This is a newer label J Crew size zero off the shoulder chambray dress. It's kind of like a midi length. It has the tie waist. Um, just thought this was nice. I've been picking up a lot of newer label J Crew lately. Uh, I, I just think it's um, some of the newer styles still sell fast and pretty well. Uh, so I did pick this one up. The last like blue chambray type item this i'm not sure how this got overlooked but i think that the tag was crumpled it's an eileen fisher size medium just like a chambray linen -y pocket dress oh it's actually um hemp and cotton so that's pretty cool um and this one was half price so <laughs> Here is a really, really cute, I unfortunately don't know what it's made out of, but I'll try to find it online. Um, the care tag was cut out, but this is a Wilfred Aritzia brand, size small, little like mock neck puff sleeve with the little detail sleeves. Super cute, I think this will do really well. Um, here's another one that I think is really seasonal right now. I'm hoping we'll do well. This is the Odell's, another brand that's sometimes on Anthropology, not always size small, and it's like a little corduroy swing dress. Love this. I think this color is super good for the season, the corduroy. Love that. Um, this is an awesome, <laughs> another good pickup. This is two brands. Um, I picked up the second brand, Universal Standard, before. I've never picked up Rodart, but this is just a, a collaboration, like, ruffle uh, shirt. Um, unfortunately, I did discover that this does have, like, a tie around the neck that's supposed to come with it that should be buttoned here. This one doesn't, but I should still be able to get, like, maybe $30, $40 for this top, which is pretty good. I think most of them are going for $50, $60. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I also don't know the size yet, so, and Universal Standard generally has their own sizing, so I'm going to have to do, I'll probably just do measurements and figure it out from there. Uh, there were several pairs of Bowden dress pants at this Goodwill, but this was the most unique pair, uh, just because I, I feel like, I really like Bowden, but I think you have to get some of the more bold, more modern prints and silhouettes. Uh, so I did pick up this pair. They're size US 12 long. Um, I don't stray away from the longs or the petites. They're just this cool like kind of neon threaded pattern throughout. I just really liked these. So I don't know how many people are buying trousers right now, but I think there still are people buying them. I sold a couple pairs recently, so I'll pick up the cuter pairs. Uh, here is an anthro brand I've never heard of before, but I saw the tag and the dress and thought it looked really nice. And then I found, you know, the thing you always love to find is that new anthro tag. 
into like a helicopter. Like a big one. Hold on. I missed it. <laughs> but this is just a really pretty uh, dress. I don't know what it's made out of. I haven't even shown you the brand yet, have I? <laughs> Great guys. Oh, the it's just polyester. Okay, but here's the brand. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Okay, James Caviello. 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 It's a size zero, so it's a small, small size. But thought since it was new with tags, retailed for two twenty eight. Um, it's not, I did check comps, it's not selling for a ton, um, but I can probably get about 30 to $40 for it. So that's that. This is, oh, I love finding this brand, and it's been a minute, so this is an ALC dress, size 6. It's like this peachy orange color, midi length dress, has like a elastic strap in the back and the keyhole but I like this color I like the length I like ALC I'm gonna try to put comps up on the screen I think for this one I liked looking up comps in one of my previous videos but it did take a long time but I still kind of want to put them on the screen so I'm gonna try that this is a one arm one shoulder Ooh. hard to show off a little like I don't know if you would still call it a Swiss dot. They're kind of different sizes. Little mini party dress. And this is from CMEO Collective, size medium. I think this brand can be sold on Revolve. Um, maybe Australian? Have to look up my facts. But this one I thought was pretty cute. Um, I'm iffy on this brand, but it usually does pretty well for me. And that's why I picked up two of the same brand. <laughs> so this one is also CMEO Collective, also a mini length. It's got these pockets in the front. Uh, comes up at a high neck. The back is cool. I like the detail in the back. Here is the tag for this one. This one is a size small. So we'll try our luck with both of these. Uh, this one, I, excuse me. This one, um, I don't pick up everything by Fabletics. There we go. Uh, so this is a seamless jacket from Fabletics, which I haven't seen a seamless jacket before. Seamless styles are selling well for me, and this one was half price. So I'm picking it up to see how it does. It's just a little seamless workout zip up jacket, size small. It was like $2.50. I will generally pick up any and all Athleta joggers, especially with this newer style tag. This is just a pair of black size 16 Athleta joggers. These sell fast for me. And here are two of the same style, and I do not know the style off the top of my head. Um, a gray pair and a green pair of little Lululemon crop seamless leggings. So to look up the style again. I think I've sold at least one pair of these before, but I never remember <laughs> the um, style names. So those are the clothes I'm gonna list. Um, I'm gonna send this pair of pants into ThreadUp. And this is a pair of Rag & Bone New York size six, just a pair of cotton trousers. And I think they'll just go for more on one of those sites. But I could sell them on Poshmark. Um, again, just trying to figure out where trousers, trousers go best right now. Okay, let's move on to shoes because I got some really good shoes. Here's probably the least exciting pair, but they're still super cute. Um, I've never sold this brand before, and it looks like this particular style of this brand does pretty well. I was looking up general comps, and they didn't seem super high, but uh, this particular style of boot from Bleecker and Bond sells around 45. So I did pick these up. I was iffy, but um, I think this is just a perfect style for fall. They're very modern looking and I love the like height of the ankle. These are so cute. So wood block, this like chunky block heel with these little flower appliques on like the denim. Uh, it's just adorable. So this is a pair of 
A anthropology, A by anthropology, 8.5, eight and a half. <laughs> Shoes. The stickers stuck to me. So this is a pair of Sundance boots. I mean, how can you pass up these cuties with this spotted like leopard calf hair detail, the really nice leather. And if you look at the bottom, it just kind of gives some clues that these are a well-made boot. I don't think I've picked up Sundance shoes before, but I thought these are a really cute style for fall. So we'll see. I didn't find exact comps for this boot, but hopefully, you know, I can get somewhere around 30, 40 for these. We'll see. I did pay up for these last two pairs of shoes, uh, but I could not leave them. These are basically like new pair of Fry suede booties with kind of the cutout detail. These I probably paid about 15 for them, but I should still be able to at least double my money, so I'm not upset about that. They were just too good to not have in my cart and leave with. And this is another pair of Fry little, just like Mary Jane flats leather, um, like new buck leather, very soft, like not worn almost at all. So those were like my little treat splurge to sell for myself. So that is everything I got yesterday uh, at Goodwill. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments and give it that thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe. Oh. Let's not knock this over. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more from me, enjoying this content. Uh, thank you for being here and I will see you again real soon.